Which problem should we do first? Okay, cool. Let's see if we can get a bit harder. Let's try 15. Okay. Uh, the root of the polynomial, oh gosh, oh, oh no. 10x cubed minus 39x squared plus 29x minus 6 are the height, length, width, and width of a rectangular box. A new rectangular box is formed by lengthening each edge of the original box by two units. Uh, what is the volume of the new box? Hmm, so, uh, don't quite know how to factor a cubic, so, uh, going to have to try to make the best of it. X minus B times minus C equals zero. So, I guess I can try distributing. This one is obviously X squared minus BX minus AX plus AB. Then we have X minus C equals 10X cubed minus... 39x squared plus 29x minus 6. <coughs> so uh, let's see. x cubed uh, minus cx squared minus bx squared plus bcx minus ax squared uh, plus acx. Man, I am making so many bad decisions right now. Minus abc is equal to this. Um, hmm. Let's see. By lengthening each edge of the original box by two units. So, uh, now that I think about it, uh, this last term right here, uh, this probably represents uh, the product of all the roots. Mm. So... Let's see, 10x cubed minus 39x squared is 29x minus 6. Wow, this problem is humiliating me. Okay, so one thing that you can kind of do is, um, so you, yeah, so you, you do also by x minus a, x minus b, x minus c, right? Mm -hmm. And so, um, but you should also multiply, like, the left side by 10, right, to get oh. the, the coefficient, um, of the x cubed to line up with the one on the right. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. All right. Good, okay. So then once you do that, though, then you can add the like terms on the left side. So, like, the sum of the coefficients for the x squared term is going to be 10 times um, negative a minus b minus c. Oh, all right. And then from there, you kind of do the same thing uh, with, like, the x term and the, the linear term. Or, sorry, the, the constant term. And you'll get um, you'll get the values of a, b, c, and then also the value of a, b plus b, c plus a, c, and then finally a plus b plus c. And from there, that'll kind of help you a little bit. Yeah, uh, that's what I was trying to do, but clearly it maybe didn't work out as well as I thought it would. Ten uh, x cubed minus ten c x squared minus ten b x squared minus ten a x squared. Uh, plus 10ACX plus 10BCX minus 10ABC. So at least that helps me figure out what the constant, what ABC is. I think you're missing one for BC. Hmm. It should be actually plus 10BCX, I think. Oh. Uh, let's see. What did I miss when distributing? I'm not sure I missed anything. Hmm. If you multiply the second term mm -hmm. of the first thing and the negative C on the right, that should get the, the plus PCX. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I wrote that down here, didn't I? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So you have the BC, you have the AC, but you're missing the AB then. Okay. Um, yeah. Don't know how that one went missing, but uh, let me just move this fellow over. Make a little space. Good. Okay. So now we at least know that ABC is equal to 6 over 10. Uh, alright, I guess we can cancel out these 10x cubed on both sides. 
we get that minus 10 times uh, c plus b plus a x squared is equal to minus 39. So, oh, oh, minus 39 x squared. So, c plus b plus a, probably a plus b plus c, 39 over 10. Uh, Alright, what else do we know? Uh, 10 times AB plus AC plus BC is equal to 29. Uh, so, AB plus AC plus BC is 29 over 10. And that's, exactly. yeah, basically all the information that I can gather from here. So what they're asking is, what would happen if I took A plus 2 times B plus 2 times C plus 2? Uh, well, I guess let's find out. Uh, foil is giving me anxiety, so I'm going to use the box method instead. <laughs> So AB plus 2A plus 2B plus 4. Uh, we're multiplying that by C plus 2. Oh, oh, that's not how you draw a box. So we have AB, 2A, 2B, 4, C, and 2. So ABC, which we, I'm sure we already know, 2AB, 2AC, 4A, 2, uh, 2BC, 4B, ah, okay, 4C, and 8. Pretty sure this has worked out perfectly, because, yeah. you know, we have ABC plus 2 times AB plus AC plus BC plus 4 times A plus B plus C plus 8. And we already know all of those little variables. Uh, where was where did I write them down? Oh yeah, there. So ABC is six over ten. This thing is just uh, twenty nine over ten. And A plus B plus C, I'm pretty sure it was thirty nine over ten or something. Yep. All right, so that worked out. So, we get 6 over 10, which I'll just reduce to 3 over 5. So, 3 over 5 plus 29 over 5 uh, plus, let's see, 2, 5. 2 times 39 is 78 over 5 plus 8, which I'll just write as 40 over 5. So... Hmm. What is the volume of this new box? So, 32 over 5 plus 78 over 5. Okay, yeah, it's definitely an integer. Huh. So, that's 30 plus 80, so 150 over 5. So, it should be D. It is D. 30. Nice. Yeah, that was a pretty difficult one, so yeah. good job.